Hello, and welcome back to Half-Life Source. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, you're getting, um, two episodes in one day. Although I'm getting a little bit of lag because I'm doing something else with my video file thing. So, uh, yeah. These, uh, little red lasers do exactly what they did in the, uh, other chapter that we saw them in an office complex, they um, activate auto turrets around here. They'll kick your ass. So, yeah. Might want to watch out for those little pieces of shit. So anyways, it is late in night. Believe it or not. Hold on, we're going to stop and go in this room. Okay, maybe we shouldn't have. Fucking head crap. Anyway. The hell's that? <laughs> um, it's late. <laughs> so, congratulations, you're getting me in my most hysterical and tired um, state. It is 11 o'clock, and dear God, I am recording an LP. <laughs> Hope. Oh. Yeah, at this part you're gonna want to watch out because this guy has a turret that shoots, well, <laughs> rockets. <laughs> there we go. We got him. Yeah, that's a part where, trust me, a lot of people tend to die right there because you come around the corner and it's like, boom, rocket to your face. Or you could just shoot this thing behind him and that'll probably kill him. Anyways, we want to be careful and... Yeah, see. Go around these corners slowly because you never know what's going to be behind them. I'm going to get off actually right here and let my tram go ahead. Maybe we can trick him. Okay, there's no tricking them, but, you know, at least I tried. That's probably a good sign. <laughs> They're everywhere! God, why are there so many Vortigons here? Let's get some more FedEx. Okay. So yeah, I still haven't decided on uh, next LP. Yeah, we need to find a switch. Or no, we don't need to find a switch. We need to find the next tram, actually. Okay. Forgot about those. I feel safer with my shotgun. Okay. <laughs> Just a head crab. Kip, his ass. Anyways. <laughs> Let's armor up and... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> okay. I guess I opened up all the things now. That's what that switch ball did. Hey, we got a new weapon. C4. You toss it out, you blow it up when you feel like it. Pretty awesome weapon. Comes in handy at some points. Let's jump over here. This is our next tram. And let us continue on with the adventure through Black Mesa. Who knows, maybe in this video we'll actually hit the end of this chapter. Hopefully. I mean, I'd hate for this to go on any longer than it already has. Anyways, what was I talking about? LPs. That's right. Getting off again. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thing like picked me up. There's a reason I got off. There's guys waiting around every corner. 
See? I told you. They're on me. Well, not really anymore, because I... <sighs> Only got one grenade. One shot at this. Okay, well, now he's following me, so... It's not going to work anyway. Just got to, like, trick him. There we go. Um, is there any healing things around here? There is one, but it's behind these boxes. Run! Oh, thank god. Um, this is another part where it's, uh, you got two paths, kind of. <laughs> You either take the elevator up, or you could take the tram elevator up. Um, but one thing is that you come up to this, and it's like, throw out some C4, go down, and blow that bitch up. And look at that, we can flank them now. <laughs> hey. Or at least what's left of them. Um, there's turrets at the bottom of this, aren't there? Okay. Nobody move. I got this. I don't know how I'm going to get it yet. How did you not die? <laughs> I mean, jeez. Shot him in the face with a revolver and he just sits there and takes it like a man. Is this where the... No. Well, I'm going to need the tram thing anyway. So... Just collect our bearings and go. Alright, well... Who... We'll risk the fall damage. Alright. So, as for my next LP, like I was saying, I have not really decided on that yet. Um, I would like for it to be... Oh, uh, there's just bombs in there. Um, I already... What the fuck? <sighs> okay, I'll meet you back there. All right, welcome back. Um, yeah, I'm now back where I was. Back on this damn rotating thing that killed me last time for no apparent reason. Because it's an asshole. Except I don't want that to be too obvious to the thing itself. You know, ow. Ho. Oh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if uh, in that darkness there was actually, um, like, the, uh, if that's where the laser was pointing or if that's where the laser was coming from. Now we're in a factory place with all the boxes that can kill you instantly. So we're going to try to get our way back up there. Huh. Now where on earth is the... Thingy. Because it appears to be gone. Is it back down there? Yes. Okay. Can we run through this? We will try. I mean, if it's going to glitch out like that, then we might as well. I mean, we don't have any other options. Okay. Good surprise there, guys. You really got me. Bunch of assholes. <laughs> Pop out from behind those things and try to kill my ass. What the hell? 
Why do I not remember this? Hmm. Well, now I'm wondering what's back here, or if this is just where you go naturally. How did I move up a floor? Wait, what? <laughs> and now... Okay, that's a rocket turn. And it's pointing this the other way, which means I should be heading this way. Which means I have to run through this shit again. <sighs> okay, it... Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man. No, come on, guys. Don't do that to me, guys. Why did I save? I don't know. Why did I follow him? I don't know. We always traveled west. Always. To the west. See, that's a parody on the opening cinematic of Diablo 2, for those who are uh, lucky enough to know that. Um, Haha, -ha, bitch! Your bomb hit the damn crate. Which means you suck ass. Maybe this time I won't fuck this up. Oh, so this is how I got up a floor. <laughs> Completely forgot I went up a ramp. Let's go this way. Don't touch these damn lasers or I'll kick your ass. Okay! Just keep firing! So what, now I'm going in circles? Uh, sir. Maybe I should have just gone this way in the first place. <laughs> huh. Well, anyway. This is the part I was thinking of, where they have the turrets right at the bottom of the damn ladder. Yeah. It's like an accident waiting to happen. So I'm going to fire a bomb down there as I subtly hit the loading screen like six times. Okay, did not think that would kill me. Uh. <laughs> oh well, at least we know how to get through this fast this time. At least we know where to go, in other words. Man, those things cause bigger explosions than I thought they did. I mean, jeez, man, it's like you blow up the whole wall. It's like Kool Aid guy. Oh, blew up one of them and blew the other one into the track. So it's like <laughs> that's double penetration if I've ever seen it. And trust me, I know my double penetration. Okay, I'm not going that way. This is the right way to go. Let me tell you, kids. Okay, not doing that again. There we go. There go. Ugh. Oh! I don't know why that guy didn't die. I'm gonna use my ultimate. <laughs> I used my ultimate fire on him. And he didn't die. Anyways, let's get out of this junk heap. Okay, apparently it's not a junk heap. Apparently they know what they're doing now. They're organized. Which means we gotta fight organized back. By what? Getting shot in the face? Real good plan there. Well, they're eventually gonna break my crate, so... What do we do? Push this out of the way and sneak past. Aha! Uh -huh. I gotcha, bitch! I don't know why I shot the radio. I thought it'd blow up like instantly, but it didn't. Sir, who is this guy? Freeman. He's saying we set ground zero. Yes, 
Sad's team? You think he was responsible? Sad? That's about enough of those guys. So apparently the military is looking specifically for me. Because they think I caused all this. Well, boy are they wrong. Anyways, we finally made it to the surface. Holy shit. I can't believe I didn't commentate on that yet. Anyways, I will see you next time on Half-Life Source. Maybe we'll actually get to that rocket firing station and actually do something good for once. I keep fucking up. Anyway, see you then. Thanks for watching. This has been the Wii Unio.